All right, so in Windows 8, you can create column headers, which is what they're calling groups. So, for example, I can take this here, move it over here, and I have a header. And if I go down here, click on this, come over here, right click, I can name the group, and call it, say, thing. By the way, is anyone else thinking how absurd it is that I'm going through all these steps to do that? And then I, so now I have a column here. I'm sorry, a group. Now imagine if you're a user and look at your current start menu on your computer right now, your non-Windows 8 machine, and look at how much stuff is in your start menu that you rarely go through. Because like, imagine you're like me, you have lots of crap on your computer, but you usually don't see it. Well, on my, can you imagine if you wanted to go through all every single quote unquote group, going just scrolling and scrolling with the scroll bar until you found it? That would be a huge pain in the butt. Now, the alternative I've been told is, well, you just type in the name. Unfortunately, like I've said in previous videos, how do I remember the name? Is it DirectX, or did I, is it called Visual Editor? I can't remember, right? So I'd, I guess I'd have to look at, because those groups, by the way, are only for pinned apps. So I would need to go and look at all apps. So here's how I would do that. So come over here, and these are, um, I would need to come down to the bottom. Let's see, let me get out of this. Oops. Back over to here, go to the bottom. Oh, come on. Well, anyway, I could be because I'm in a VDM, but probably not. And you trying to, you know, try to get to all apps on the computer, which again, you can type in like A, start looking for stuff, B, C, D. But it, is that the way, is that the, is that the way forward? I, I mean, I mean that seriously. I'm not just trying to dog on Windows 8, but I, some of its advocates make it sound like that this is obviously a step forward and that people who don't like the old way of Windows 7, and I hate calling it the old way, it's the current way, are somehow not just not getting it. And I think I get it. I, I don't think it's not a hard concept. It's just a terrible one is all. Uh, but please comment in the YouTube comments and feel free to insult me all you'd like because I really am interested in hearing from people who love Windows 8 and really can make the case on how it's better to have to, that oops, that that's a better experience somehow. Not to mention uh, being a nightmare for those of us who are gonna end up supporting people who are coming from regular computers. So uh, look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you later.